What's up, you guys? Let me with a new video today. Uh, finally back after what seems a while. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, 2018, you guys saw in the title, Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2018. Uh, first video back for the new year. Uh, I think a lot of people thought, oh man, Slim, don't tell me you're quitting again. Don't tell me you're taking a break. Uh, trust me, guys, that is never the case. Uh, work has just been very demanding. Uh, those of you who know uh, where I work, I don't have the ability to get weekends off unless you know I, I get people to pick up the days. And my job constantly changes with shifts every month. It's the only thing I actually do not care for. But the benefits of being able to fly, you know, free are just, you know, I can't really replace that. It's, you know, it's just been great. That's how I've been able to get to events. But enough about that. Just know that when I don't post videos, I'm working a lot, traveling a lot, you know. Uh, but I definitely want to, uh, you know, keep you guys up to date with what's been going on. And basically this video is going to be about kind of like a Yu-Gi-Oh! wish list. I know there were a lot of channels that did a Yu-Gi-Oh! wish list for what they wanted to see in 2018. And this is going to be no different. Um, the, you know, I have goals, you know, not only for myself, but I have things that I want to see, you know, really happen in the game. And, I, you know, I decided I'm just going to, you know, throw on some dueling book. And, you know, you guys can just watch. Uh, I've been watching like, some of these matches. They've been pretty crazy. Uh, the guy, like, uh, like I've been watching everyone open the one Gofu, like, every game. Like, it's nuts. Like, opening the one Gofu and just setting up your links. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, things I want to see in 2018 for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I'm going to start with the with this one right here. Is I want a better way to play Yu-Gi-Oh online. I know a lot of people talked about this. And they're definitely right. More so for myself. I'd like to see a more like functional mobile way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I know there's Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links. But let's face it. If we're trying to play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we need a better way. There used to be a way uh, several years ago that we were able to play like YGO Pro like on our phones. And you just had to download the images. And I know that hasn't been updated since I don't even know when it's been well over a year since it was updated and obviously it wasn't the best like if you didn't have a good internet connection you could only you know kind of play against the um the computer's decks and you guys already know the computer is like complete crap but uh it at least gave you a way to test and solitaire your deck I feel like if there was a way to make like a dual links you know a version where we could play like meta and you know at least not have you know the the four card hands or whatever it is. I, I don't even really play Duel Links that much, but I would like a better like mobile way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! so that no matter where you are, you can, you know, you can play and you can get play testing in. I feel that that's one of the biggest things because I know a lot of people like Dueling Book. I know a lot of people don't like Dueling Book. I personally just don't care for it that much. I do like YGO Pro here and there, but at the same time, it's just not the same. So I feel like if there was a more like mobile way to play or, you know, just a better online uh, way to play Yu-Gi-Oh would be amazing. I think it was uh, DZ who talked about it, that if there was a way like to play uh, and you played even a monthly subscription, I think that'd be great too. Just anything to where we could play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, more efficiently online or on our mobile devices. Because let's face it, we're always with our phones. The ability, And I know everyone who's super into Duel Links. Imagine if not only if you had Duel Links, but imagine if you could play test your main decks too. I think that'd be amazing. So that's one thing I want to see. Another thing I want to see in 2018 uh, is, you know, I want to see what's going to continue to happen with Link Monsters. You guys already know when Links came out. I actually was one of those people that was anti-Links. You guys remember my deck pro profiles just trying to make anti-link decks and eventually you know i had to adapt one thing i've always told you guys is in this game you just always have to adapt to whatever's going to happen and by doing that you just better prepare yourself so the one thing that uh i've come to realize is you know links are at absolute necessity that is what Yu Gi Oh has become we have gone through the pendulum error uh, era when uh when they first came out you know adapting to that and now links are basically you know the new you know the new way we play and you guys already can see you know just by watching these matches you guys don't know how broken Boral load is like this card's nuts like the card the card is insane but I mean you guys already know that proxy dragon decode talker are Mrs. Radiant depending on what decks you play they open up the zone so you can just play more uh you know more extra deck monsters the one thing that is just you know you guys already know i love the 60 card decks the minerva sworn base horn deck and the thing is is that it really kind of sucked when links came out because of course we couldn't just go ham like we were uh you know just spamming like double to triple omegas and all that like without link monsters it's totally you can still do it now you know you just have to improvise uh, by going the links first you have to take like extra steps so at first I was totally against that and eventually I just realized you know you need to do it cool combos come out the predator plant combo is insane 
and by doing that like you um you know you can still kind of play your deck the same way but that's the one thing is that i want to see what's going to continue to happen with links and i would say that i think it's going to be positive stuff like i know there's some crazy ftks coming with the with plants and whatnot i hope konami does something about that it's another thing in 2018 i hope that we can just do away with all uh ridiculous ftks to where you just don't play Yu Gi Oh. i know we have been through the you know the ringer since ycs dallas with spirals you know set up my board can't do anything okay Okay, that's game it's kind of how it's been it's been hand trap central but i feel like if you know we continue to you know stay positive with the game and just see what happens i feel like hopefully we'll get to a more uh to a more uh, kind of like efficient way to play in a more you know hopefully like player interactive games that's just all i could ever ask for you know it's never guaranteed but we can see what happens uh, other things I want to see in 2018 is, uh, for myself, I want to try to go to more events. I know YCS Atlanta was announced. I'm definitely trying to go to that. I want to really try to go to the majority of the events because I really enjoy, you know, those events and I love, you know, seeing the subscribers. I love being able to do the videos and whatnot, especially, you know, like the deck profiles and whatnot, whoever tops and stuff like that. And also for myself, like I want to play more, like you guys should know, like I've been through like multiple things where I, you know, I'll make a lot of videos and I won't make a lot of videos but I also take time to like really focus to become a get better player that's the one thing that I've talked about before is that I believe that if I don't you know play enough Yu-Gi-Oh you know why are you gonna listen to my videos why are you gonna watch my videos you know with you know I need to be able to speak on what I know and the more competitive Yu-Gi-Oh I play the more you know insight I can give to you guys and that's why I really enjoy going to the events and really trying to play my best at these events because I feel like by doing that, not only am I, you know, enjoying the game that I love, but I'm also, you know, there in competitive spirit. And I also can give you guys, you know, my experience. I can give you guys ideas for those of you that haven't been to events, what it's like. You know, you can I can talk about, you know, why I won a game, why I lost a game, things I learned from it. And I feel like by playing, you know, these big, like, high-end events, like, you really do learn a lot of things. You learn a lot from when you lose. You learn a lot from when you win. You learn how you can do things differently, different plays you could do. And I mean, you walk away. I've never walked away from a YCS disappointed. Uh, I've always felt like I've learned something. And I feel that that's like the best thing is that walking away from these events and learning is just fantastic. So definitely want to try to go to more events in uh, 2018. Other things I'd like to see is I like to see, believe it or not, I'd like to see more locals. Uh, open to like old school formats <laughs> just a little kind of funny thing is I really do enjoy you know the old formats like we go all the way back to you guys already know how much I loved uh, Demise OTK back in 2007 2008 uh, original Lights Orange 2009 Dragon Rulers 2013 Spellbooks 2013 all that stuff is I wish that there would be uh, locals or just any events where you could play uh, you know old formats it's just really cool of course you guys already know the infamous goat uh, goat matches everyone plays and imagine if you could just go there and play goat tournaments I know that there are locals that do that. I just like to see it more uh, more so and maybe even online uh, to have more like old school tournaments because I think it's just really cool to kind of reminisce about like the way Yu-Gi-Oh has evolved because Yu-Gi-Oh has evolved so much to where uh, you know cards that were just insane years ago are just completely fallen by the wayside and vice versa cards that were never given the light of day have you know come into you know basically have come into the light where players are really enjoying them so I just think that's another thing and in 2018, mostly, I just want to see how the game will continue to grow and develop. I think, like, there's been so many changes. There's been so many different cards that have impacted things. Of course, you guys already know this guy is one of Masterpiece is one of the main cards that has impacted Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you know, of course, before Spirals came out uh, to full power and everything, you know, Masterpiece was one of the reasons a lot of people quit. And uh, I think, like, to go to, like, my final thing is the biggest thing I want in 2018 is I don't want people to quit Yu-Gi-Oh. I want people to keep playing. Yu-Gi-Oh and I hope that we just get more people playing Yu-Gi-Oh and I feel like like I've mentioned in a lot of these things if we had like a better online way to play if we had locals that supported old formats or locals that just ran better tournaments I feel like if we had more events uh, you know just in general that were accessible to everyone that I think we would have more players I think also like if the game could change to where it's not just break my board or better have a hand trap we would have more players like I, you know, I've always been that channel that said, you know, never quit playing Yu-Gi-Oh, always find a way to adapt and continue to play. And I feel like, you know, with everything that, you know, changes in the game constantly because the game is constantly changing that 
I feel like hopefully we don't lose more players. I hope that we can just gain more players. And I feel like there's always a way to gain more players. And I think that if, you know, just more like positive things are done in the game, if more, you know, events, if more, uh, just, you know, if healthier formats, believe it or not, this format is not bad, you guys. There are so many decks that can play. I know everyone thinks, okay, you know, everyone says uh, that, oh, no, it's basically the same. You know, Spirals is still the best deck. Yeah, Spirals, you know, theoretically are the best deck. You have Trick Stars, like, right behind. But you also have Pendulum Magicians. You also have 60-card Bricks. You know, you have so many different decks that can do things. You have the decks that you're seeing playing right now, like the True Draco, Invoked. You know, you have all these different decks. So I definitely think that this... This is actually a healthier format than people, you know, give it credit for. I think that, uh, I think that once spirals get hit or they do stuff about like some of the decks, I think we'll be in a healthier format again. And that's all I can hope for is that each format gets a little bit healthier, at least tries to get a little bit healthier. I'm sure people have watched the finals in Japan of the plant FTK mirror, which is just ridiculous. Like he goes through, I think it's like a 13 minute turn just for the guy to scoop. Like it's insane. But, you know, I'm hoping that's not what it becomes over here in the TCG. I really hope that we can just have an open format where there's a lot more decks. So, uh, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to say. I, the last thing I'll say is that I am going to try to push out more videos, you guys. I really want to try at least to do three videos a week. Again, I'm very busy with work, but I still want to try and, you know, in a sense, you know, uh, still provide you guys with the best content I can. One thing is I just give you very honest content and I just want to, based off the events I go to, I want to just, you know, provide you guys with a lot more insight to, you know, what it's like for the competitive side of Yu-Gi-Oh! In addition to, you know, the casual side, because I play both, you know, I, I'm on both ends with it because, you know, I, I fully support casual players, but I also myself am competitive. I'm actually a very competitive person. I don't know if a lot of people know that, but I'm very competitive in a lot of things and Yu-Gi-Oh! is no different. So, uh, I just hope to go to more events. I actually have a regionals coming up on the 13th. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time to play test, but uh, I, you know, I always go into events, you know, just, you know, giving it my best and playing a deck I'm comfortable with. And I'm still fine tuning uh, things with the deck I'm going to play, but I do have that coming up. Unfortunately, I did have to miss Vegas this weekend, but shout out to everyone that's out in Vegas uh, playing the ARG. We actually have an ARG coming to San Jose in April, so I'm super excited for that. Shout out to you, Jim. That's amazing. I'm glad you're coming back to Cali, and I'm glad you picked NorCal now that I've moved back to NorCal. It's gl I'm glad we're getting events because uh, I know SoCal used to get all the events. So uh, just in general, I hope uh, Cali continues to get a lot of events. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want me to do like more discussion videos or stuff like that, I know we have the new community thing in YouTube where you can post uh, stuff about what you guys want to see. I'm definitely going to be utilizing that more because I really want to hear from you guys. Uh, you guys know I always like uh, taking my sub uh, subscribers' uh, suggestions. I know you guys want to see a lot of deck profiles. I know you guys want to see updated like Domain Monarchs, True Draco Monarchs. Working on it, guys. Working on it. Trust me. I, I try to find time to build the decks. You know, not only on my... I, I build them on my phone. A lot of people don't know this. I, I start building the decks on my phone. And then I try to just, you know, build them in real life when I have the time. I build them during my breaks at work uh, and stuff. So trust me. I'm always trying to include Yu-Gi-Oh! I actually read every day on uh, YGO Organization or TCG player uh, I actually have become a real like reader of Yu-Gi-Oh uh, I guess like articles and stuff just because I just feel like okay if I can't play while I'm at work I'm gonna read you know I'm gonna do something Yu-Gi-Oh related in my free time and on my breaks so yeah so I'm constantly you know trying to keep up to date with the game and that's another thing is I want to try to do more card discussions I know I haven't in the past always been up to date with a lot of cards and I kind of just take cards as they come but like oh that's new card okay cool but I feel like to better the channel and better just you know my knowledge as a player I need to keep up to date more with uh, you know cards and card discussions and that's where you guys come in if there are cards you want me to talk about definitely let me know in the comments below definitely you know hit me up you guys already know my socials are all down below oh is it like Facebook Instagram snapchat all that yeah just add me there hit me up there with ideas you guys have and I'm definitely open to them and I'll definitely do my best to, you know, produce videos for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit longer than usual. But just wanted to talk to you guys. I know it's been a while. And I just hope that for 2018, Yu-Gi-Oh! was just great. I all, You guys know me. I am one of the most positive people when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm always going to be a positive person when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! And I just hope, like, in the new year, Yu-Gi-Oh! just gets better and better. And that's all I can hope for. And that our player base uh, continues to grow. That's all, that's all I can say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to show your... Uh, 
uh, share your support with a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys would like to see here on the channel. In addition to deck profiles, card discussions, I'll be posting more in the community area of YouTube. So be sure to check that out and be sure to give me you guys, uh, give me you guys' feedback and ideas. And I'll definitely bring that to you guys soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.